We typically do four things. The raw gas that comes through, I mentioned, is, is usually contaminated and, and it's got some oil and water with it. And sometimes it's got some acidic gas that's like carbon dioxide in it. They actually take the carbon dioxide out, they take the water out, they look at the um, oil and gas and separate the oil and gas, then take the oil, then put them in the various commercial fractions. We are lucky. Our gas is, is, is clean. We, we call it sweet gas. It doesn't have those acidic components and it's fairly dry off water. So we do only two of those four things. So we have LPG in there, then we have condensates, and then we have pentanes as well. So does this mean that the various fields, the gas coming from the various fields, is all the same? Is all the same quality? No, they do have different qualities, but at least 10 and Jubilee are the same. Are the same. The quality. That's correct. But what about Sankofa? Sankofa is different. It is, it is more gas than oil. Sankofa. So, that's correct. So we don't actually get a whole lot of liquids from Sankofa. And if you recall, Sankofa would actually join whatever is processed here midstream. And we have that commingled gas go to Abuazi. So Sankofa is not going through any processing at oh, all. I see. It just comes in as a dry gas. And then it joins the gas that is processed from here and goes all the way to Abuazi. Okay. So what is the overall capacity of this place? This plant can handle 150 million standard cubic feet of gas. Which translates into how much megawatts of power? That will be about 900 megawatts. About 900 megawatts. Currently, we are doing about 600 megawatts of that. So with um, 10 coming through, we will just about hit its capacity. So what, to sell is it, what is it doing in terms of the pricing for us? Is yeah. all of this going to the thermal process, the thermal power? What is it doing for the country in terms of bringing yeah. down energy costs yeah. and the, the, the good thing for using gas for thermal generation is that it actually reduces your price. Currently, even with the depressed oil prices, where you can cheaply buy oil to power your thermal plants, we could still be saving $10 million by switching from oil to gas, the LCO to gas, $10 million a month. Wow. Just by using gas. Yes, sir. Yes. And you're saying that now the entire facility mm -hmm. is being run by Ghanaians. Absolutely. And we're very proud of that. If you look around, His Excellency, you see that both men and women here, yeah, they run are. the plant. Yes, and yes. In, in, in comparison to yes, our neighbors like Nigeria, for instance, it took them 40 years to become totally indigenous in their operation. Trinidad and Tobago, similar. About 50 years before they became totally indigenized. Well, already we are. Three years we are, we are totally indigenized. So we story. are very proud. Of yeah. Yeah. That's a good story. That's a really good story. So, oh, we are very, very so proud Mr. Asante, we have to congratulate you on the work you're doing. Thank you very much. You know, much. so much of the hopes of our country are bound up with what's taking, on, taking place here. So it's good to see it's in competent hands like this. Thank you. I'm happy about that. Really appreciate the confidence. Yeah, thank all of you very much. Yes. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh. Yes. 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 You can take a picture with me. <laughs>